Hello everybody and a very warm welcome back to Tony Northeastern and I hope you're all keeping safe and well and most of all enjoying your own railways. Alright, back in 2018, February 2018, these two guys, the P2 and the 9F, um, did something quite remarkable uh, on this layout. They pulled between them 31 coaches in a pull power challenge and uh, yeah they became known as the A-Team for this layout but we have some new locomotives on the block and I think between the two of them the two hushes W1 hushes I think they can smash that record what do you think? Can they beat the 31 coaches? Well, we're sure to find out. Anyway, to be fair, I'm going to try and use as many of the original coaches um, as I had back in 2018, which is mostly all of the Backman coaches and the Pullmans with a few um, Hornby coaches thrown in because I've had a a uh, bit of a rolling stock change since then. Um, I won't be using the Royal Train because they're too light and in previous videos the Hornby coaches tend to uh, derail under weight, under, under the uh, strain of being pulled on a long train. But uh, for backup I might be able to use one or two of those coaches right at the very end of the train. So let's start putting the train together. So the Minaru is going to leave her rake of seven coaches in the platform. And now the northeastern will add another seven coaches to the rake that's already in the platform. So that should be 14. The Northeastern couldn't push the 14 coach long train into the platform, so I'm going to have to do that a little bit by hand. And that already is a heavy train. And now the Sun Chariot's going to add her seven coaches, so that will make uh, 21 coaches, so that'll be a good warm-up start for the W1s. So I shall connect them up to those coaches, which are already waiting the platform. And as you can see, the train already stretches right around to that bridge over at the far end there. I have now connected up the W1s, so let's just see what they can do.
You would have think I would have learned my lesson from the last um, challenge. Hornby coaches do not like being pulled under strain. So I shall take them two out and put them at the back of the train. I think it's time to add some more coaches now. Been around three times at 21 coaches. I have now added six Pullman coaches to this train and I've taken out three Hornby coaches that were in the middle of the train and stuck them on the back. So we now have 27 coaches, um, only three more off the, the record held by the P2 and the 9F. So let's just see how we get on. Well, that took some going. So now we have 30 carriages on the back of these W1s, so let's see if they can do it. Whoops! So that clunk you heard uh, was the rotting coming out of the uh, British Enterprise. A screw come out and as soon as it got to the tunnel it flipped over. Um, but this one seems to be running alright. This is the plain W1 hush hush. So that's, that's okay. So let's have a look at the state of the British Enterprise. 
So here she is. Uh, what, what happened is uh, the screw came out of the rodding and the rodding hit the track which then flipped the engine over uh, breaking off <laughs> the foot um, plates off the other side but luckily for me I managed to find the screw that, um, that did the damage um, so yeah she's in a little bit of a mess but uh, luckily for me the rodding don't look bent I think as soon as it flipped over it stopped if it had gone running further on I think I'd be looking at a little bit more damage than what I've got here so what I'll do is I'll put these screws back in and uh, we'll continue with the test because I've got all four screws out at the moment so I can try and realign the wheel arrangement up so let's see if I can fix this baby and get it back on the track so that's the third lap now on the inner circuit and uh, the running gear seems to be running as sweet as, as it was before which is good Once the challenge is finished, I'll then um, glue the front ladder back on. It's still missing up the front, as you can see. So here we go again. 30 carriages. That's the first loop over. Um, so I dare and add one more coach. So it's been around four times now and uh, after the first loop I had to take out another Hornby coach and stick it on the back of the train. Um, I don't know what it is with the Hornby couplings, because they're spring loaded or something, they bounce as they go around corners and that's what causes them to um, cause the train to derail. But uh, yep, we're still on 
30 coaches. So I want to at least have at least two or three good laps where nothing happens. And as you can see, there's the offender. And uh, we've got two of the Royal Train coaches there, which will go on the back to make it 32. If it runs at 32 coaches, that's it. I'm not doing any more. But uh, we shall see. Okay, we managed to get another two laps round without any incidents this time. So now we're going to go for 32. That's one coach more than what the P2 and the INF did. But what I'm going to do this time is I've already preset the speeds into the controller, so I'm not going to do it manually. So hopefully they'll work in sync and pull them train together. So let's see what happens. So far so good. See why it's struggling that these two Hornby um, Pullman coaches had come off the track. And I think it's due to the weight um, of the train. It starts over at Peel the side, right away around the layout, all the way down there as far as the bridge. So I've put them back on the track. So found out what the problem was, it's these two Pullman coaches had come off um, the track and they were just sitting there obviously it wasn't going to pull them so just checking to make sure that the couplings are, are together because if they're not then that would give me an issue like that one there
first time during this channel challenge the train is now behaving itself um, this is the fourth time it's been round without an incident and uh, here she comes again Truly amazing, absolutely amazing that can pull this many coaches. I am tempted to add one more, but I think 32 is plenty. And um, I think I still want to keep the locomotives, I keep pushing it anymore. I'll probably end up uh, damaging them. So yeah, I think I'll stick with the 32. So we have a new dream team on the block. Let's have a look one last time. And that ends this challenge. Um, I think I'll retire one of these locomotives and it's going to be that one. The W1 Hush Hush. I think I'll uh, retire that one. That one will go back in its box. Uh, it's done its job. Um, as for the British Enterprise, that's going to stay at the North Eastern for a long, long time to come yet. It's been the hero, I think, of this challenge. Um, throwing a rod and then bouncing back with uh, 32 carriages to their names. So they are the new A team. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Right, thanks for watching, guys, and I uh, hope you found <laughs> this very entertaining. Well, talk about almost destroying one of them, but never mind. Thanks for watching, guys. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now. Bye.